How's the summer going now that you're back? Are you in classes or anything? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing classes and working on it, so. Yeah. What what you been working on in the gym? Uh, this is a little bit of everything. My three-point shot, uh, I want to be a more consistent three-point shooter. Um, <laughs> just trying to be get stronger and be more explosive uh, going to the basket. <laughs> Tell me about Gabe. Tell me about Gabe. <laughs> I, I saw you guys uh, guarding each other tonight. Uh, you know, so that's, uh, yeah, exactly. It's kind of a personal little battle tonight. Yeah, you know, that's my man. You know, I can't let him think he run the court, so he got to go through the king to get to the top. So. <laughs> what's uh, what's going to take for you guys to get to where you want to go this year? Um, just consistency. That's the key word, consistency. You know, um, we had some younger guys last year, so um, they're now – us more season, so they know what it's going to take to go to the biggest Big Ten, and um, I think they'll be even more ready this year. Um, and I, I really think that's what they shoot it. Got to be more consistent in shooting the ball. Um, defensively, we really we did a really good job defensively and rebounding. We got to make sure we can continue to build upon that. Um, we can't be satisfied with that performance, uh, even though we did do it pretty well. We got to take it up even another notch. The, the, the great team can take it up another notch, and uh, we have the capability of doing that. So. That's definitely got to be something we do. Yeah, but other than that, we'll just, just continue to do what we do. Just be more consistent. I think if we were just a little bit more consistent down the stretch in games uh, this last season, we're, we're, where we want to be, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. there's nothing there's nothing big, you know what I'm saying? We're not overthinking anything. Just being consistent and continue to do what you do. We don't want guys thinking they got to do more than what they than what they're used to doing and, uh, and getting out of camp. Or nothing like that. Just do what you do. You know, you guys are so deep. And if there were any holes on your team last year, a couple of spots, probably outside shooting a little bit and, and maybe inside the arc at times on the wings with Utah and with Jock and then everybody else coming back, do you feel like you guys have it? The table's set for whatever happens comes this year. Uh, I wouldn't say it's set. You got to go out there and get it. You know, it's a lot of things that have the talent and the potential to do to be top notch team. Mm -hmm. If you don't go out there and show show what you're made of, I mean, you, it's just, everybody's in a position one athlete that you play in. So there's guys out here that can play, so you can't just go out there and think it's going to be handed to you. you got to go out there and take it. Um, we do have the components and the, and the people to, uh, to do what we want to do. And, uh, but we got to make sure we continue to work hard and practice and our workouts leading up to the, to the season. And, um, and just, like I said, just be consistent with everything we do. You know, every time you guys have returned to Michigan in your tenure, bad things have happened. Do you feel like now you get a chance, you got to go back to Ann Arbor and East Lansing, compete? Is that... Does that burn in you at all, or does it really matter? Um, from a standpoint of we lost, it doesn't burn because it's Michigan or Michigan State. I don't like none of the teams. Mm -hmm. so, uh, I don't really like none of them. So, um, you got to do what you got to do. Um, so I, probably if I had to pick one, it would be uh, I'm definitely sick of losing to Michigan State. You know yeah. So that is a game that I do look forward to from that standpoint. But we got to win them all. We got to try and win them all. Um, but, but, I mean, yeah, the Michigan State game, the Michigan State uh, stands out to me the most. Was that because of last year, both of them excruciate, you know, the yeah. Big Ten tournament probably cost you from yeah, every time I, every year I've been here, we've lost to Michigan State in the Big Ten tournament, whether it was first, second, or whatever round it was. So, uh, it's definitely a hurdle we just got to, we got to get over as a team, you know, it's not just me, it's other guys that haven't been in there either, so. Um, we, we just got to, got to go out there and, and handle business. What's it going to be like now being, Everybody having expectations for this program to now join the elite in the Big Ten, to be ranked, to be among the best. I mean, expectations. We have expectations of ourselves. Um, so it's not nothing new for us to have it for somebody. The only thing different is, is other people have expectations. We have expectations for ourselves. So as long as we continue to be confident in what we do, go out there and uh, play the way we know we can play. I mean, the, our elite level of status will come out and show mm -hmm. as we play. We don't have to force it or anything like that. We'll just do what we do. And, and people recognize how good of a team we really are. You were uh, you were pretty banged up at the end of the year. Did you get enough rest? And uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely a lot healthier now. You know, I had the finger injury from uh, Colorado, but that's right. doing better. So that's, that's another key thing, I think, for me in the building is just staying healthy. Mm -hmm. You know, I dealt with a lot of stuff last year. Mm -hmm. um, that I had to you just try and try and play through and get over or whatever the case may be. You know, um, I'm not an excuse maker, so I yeah. just I just let the chips fall where they were. So. What was it? Your thumb? Yeah, out in, out in Colorado. Yeah, but like I said, I don't I don't let that be an excuse for why something did or didn't happen. I gotta go out there and do it. I gotta do. Kobe played through torn tendons and now he's playing through a 
kid is injured, so if he can do it, then, then uh, the guys out here that aren't even where he's at, he's set for life. Guys like us, that we can't you know, complain about injuries, you know what I'm saying? You got to just play through that. Do you get a chance to go back home now, or with the European trip, you don't, won't be able to? No, I won't. You won't. I won't be home to who knows when. So I guess I'm here with you the rest of the summer. <laughs> like for you you feel like you you're at where you want to be at this time of the summer oh definitely uh, i love our workouts they're tough they, they work on fundamentals they're, they're really they're really good what is it like 500 shots made in a day is that kind of a goal of yours or is that do you have a different goal uh, i don't know i just go and shoot sometimes i shoot for an hour sometimes I shoot for two hours it just depends on how i feel sometimes 500 shots sometimes a thousand okay so it's not really I praise, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, going over to Europe, what? I know that's a couple weeks away, but you got to be pretty excited about taking a trip like that, getting to show yourself in a different location. You know, I can't wait. I, I can't thank the East Coast also for that enough of this opportunity, it's going to be great. Yeah. What do you want to do when you're over there? I mean, is there anything you want to see on the side, or is that, you're just going to leave that up to whoever plans the trip? Yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm, I'm going for basketball, so whatever I see is kind of a bonus. How, how far can this team go this year? It has the potential to go far. You know, it's, it's whether we live, live up to the expectations and live up to the potential, but I think we will, and I'm excited for the season. What does it need to do to reach that? Potential, you know, be in the top couple in the Big Ten, win on the road, not have the ball rattle out of the rim or things like that. I, I think we, we need to be tough. We need to make shots. That's what it comes down to. In what ways has this season contributed to you from a mentally tough perspective? You had to weather a lot, you know, especially in leaving Wisconsin to sitting out. Do you feel like now maybe you're tougher mentally than we were, say, leaving Jeff? It gave me a greater appreciation of the game. You know, it makes me look forward to playing basketball that much more. Thank you. What exactly happened to it? Was it jammed, broken? Yeah, it was broken. I just uh, did it on the bottom of the backboard. And it just kind of popped. So, did you have a, like a cast or a splint or anything on it? Yeah, I had a splint on it, but I'm using tape now. Okay. So play up and down. Play live. Yeah. How did that affect you in working out, shooting, and that sort of thing? I mean, the splint when, like, the first three weeks I had to wear the splint, so, uh, I mean, that kind of affected my shot because it was on my right hand. Yeah. But um, now I'm just using tape, so, you know, I can't really feel it. And do you feel like it's hindering you at all, or is it okay? Uh, a little bit. It sometimes hurts when I catch the ball, you know, when mm -hmm. someone throws a hard pass or, you know, trying to go for a seal, I'm kind of still kind of nervous to mm -hmm. reach in there and just hit it or something like that, but you know, it's healing each day, and getting better. You know, I remember Jeff Peterson, who played here a handful of years ago, I don't know if you remember him when you were at Wash, he was a point guard, and he broke his wrist in the first game, and he said, yeah, it only hurts when I dribble or get the ball passed to me, so I imagine it's probably the same yeah, for you. It's, it's like when I get it passed to me, I can feel it because it just hits it, so, Yeah. Uh, especially if it hits it on the right spot, you can really feel it. Yeah. What's, what's been your routine like? Are you, are you, I've seen you shoot lights out. Other people have seen you shoot lights out. You missed shots last year. Was it about positioning, getting the ball off quicker? What What have you guys worked on to try to make sure those shots go down rather than in and out? I think it's just my confidence. Uh, also, getting my shot off quicker, coming off screens, ready to shoot. Uh, you know, I come off screens, not looking to shoot, and then you know, I'd be open. But, you know, I think just you know where the defender is the biggest thing, you know, because a lot of the time I felt like he was right behind me, but you know I still had time to get my shot off. So.